Hey guys, MCU Collector here with the next video in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man Wave 13 Demo Goblin Build-A-Figure. Here we have Adrian Toomes, the Vulture. So this one is a very um, uh, an interesting one. It's an anticipated figure because we get kind of a classic Vulture look. We did get a previous Vulture in the Walmart exclusive 2-pack with Spider-Man, but that was the ultimate version. So here we have the classic one. Uh, but there's a couple of things. We get two uh, interchangeable heads, so that is cool. But the wings so kind of leave a lot to be desired but um overall i think it's very good but we'll kind of get into it as we take the figure out of the package but spider-man logo legend series up at the top marvel's vulture side artwork looking very very cool of adrian tombs really like the way that looks here on the back of the package we have a look at all the figures in the wave to build the demo goblin builder figure we are now on the fourth video next will be white rabbit and with shang chi before getting to that build a figure uh let's take a look at his bio Marvel's Vulture, Adrian Toomes uses a specialized flying suit to soar through the skies as the Vulture. And there it is, very excited, let's get him opened up. Okay, here is the Vulture figure out of the package, and you know what, this thing's nice. I like it, the wings are interesting, some people probably aren't gonna be fans of it, um, but I kinda dig them, I'm liking it. Anyway, the, the two heads, you can see the only accessory comes is that additional interchangeable head. As we take a closer look at the figure, we'll take a closer look at that head sculpt. Here, the Build-A-Figure piece that Adrian Toomes comes with, the Vulture, he comes with the head for the Demo Goblin, and you know what? This thing is pretty awesome. Lots of detail, lots of paint, looks really, really good. So we'll take a better look at that in the Demo Goblin Build-A-Figure video, um, but let's get closer in on Adrian Toomes and see how this guy looks. Okay, so here's a closer look at Adrian Toomes, the Vulture, um, and this head sculpt is the biggest highlight for me for this figure because Hasbro just absolutely killed it, knocked it out of the park. This thing is fantastic. They even went, you know, the extra mile with the liver spots because he is, um, you know, older. There's, there's visible wrinkles throughout his face. It might be hard to kind of see, um, you know, on camera. Maybe if I darken it up a little bit, you could see kind of... You can see it in his face, how it looks. Um, it just comes out looking really good. Now, the pink around his eyes is pretty heavy, um, but I, I I understand the point of it is to really show, you know, kind of his age and how it's coming through. So I don't I don't mind it. I know George, you know, had mentioned eyeliner and stuff, you know, plastic addict. Um, but I think it looks, I think it looks good. Eyebrows look good. The paint apps look really good. The red inside the mouth, the teeth are painted nice and cleanly. I just think this, this head sculpt is just absolutely fantastic. I really, really, really like it. Looking at the rest of the figure, let me brighten this back up. That's going to go a little bit brighter even. So looking at the rest of the figure, we get that classic look to it. Now, depending on the artwork and from the comics, you know, the stripes can go all the way throughout the entirety of the figure. Um, we didn't get that here. So as, from the waist down, it's just solid green, nothing else going on, but we get the line work in the torso and the arms. So it's pretty cool. This is basically your, your typical pizza Spider-Man figure. The shoulder joint or the shoulder ball there, um, and the forearms are going to be different because these wing pieces actually port right into those um, into those pieces. So that's those are the only differences uh, there. This is actually a floating little fur piece, so you can kind of adjust it and move it around. It does sit on the sh on his shoulders nicely, but it can be moved and you can take it off. Uh, but really cool. So anyway, back back to the figure. The the way the wings work, as you can see here, there's just a notch right inside the arm there. Then you have that piece that sticks up right there. And I don't know if you can kind of see it, but there's like half an R right there. So you know that it is the right wing. Um, and the same goes for this piece right here. It's like the other half of the R right there. So you port it right on in. So it's important that you put, I guess it doesn't really matter which order you put them in, but the way it's designed to work is when you have this, this wing piece should actually fit over this piece. And you can kind of see how the wing piece kind of does it so it has that it's this portion is kind of raised because this part um, and you can see actually you know it's raised there it's because it oh it, it kind of it overlaps so depending on how you move the arm you're gonna have it that way but it's important that the longer piece is actually in front of that piece because if you do it the other way it doesn't fit right and it'll just kind of 
you know, doesn't, it just doesn't work because it's like sh pushed out to the side and stuff. It's not the way it's designed to work. So it's got to go over it like so. So that's how the wings work. Now, again, he comes with an additional interchangeable head, as you see here. So this is where, and I lost it. He has the helmet on with this one. And it just goes over and covers his face. This one's pretty good. His mouth is closed on this one. And visibly, again, you can see a lot of the wrinkles in his face because he is an older gentleman. And it looks really, really good. To swap it out, this one is actually pretty stiff to get on there. So you pull it out, and then it's like the ears are kind of pointing out. It just kind of digs into your fingers a little bit. Um, and then to show you guys the fur piece, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it just fits on there nice and snug, as you can see. So it doesn't port in anything, but it's a solid fit where it's, you know, it doesn't really want to move around. So let me put this other head sculpt on there. And it gets tricky a little bit. I broke my wing, but still good. And you can see there he has the helmeted look, and that looks pretty good too. I actually really prefer the other head sculpt, uh, but that one works as well. So let's take a look at his articulation. Okay, so articulation for Adrian Toomes, you can see he can look down quite a bit, even though that fur kind of gets in the way a little bit, he still can look down, he still can look up, so it's not too much of an issue. Now for this articulation, I prefer not to use the wings because they really get in the way, but I, I do want to show you guys how it looks. So if the arm is straight, that's how the wing is going to look, so then you get the articulation at the forearm with the double jointed elbow, and then this is how it can spread apart. So no, that can be... Um, you know, something that you guys aren't going to like depending on how you pose it and stuff because it is supposed to be one wing piece. I don't know of any other way they can that Hasbro really could have done it, um, you know, for the $20 line. You know, if they did a deluxe figure or something, maybe they could have done that um, somehow, but that's how it looks. So I'm actually going to remove these pieces for the articulations just because they kind of get in the way. So again, Pizza Spidey, so all the typical articulation that you'll see with that shoulder can go up that high. You get a full rotation there. There's a slight butterfly joint in there, so you can get him to go back a lot more than that, but mine's kind of stiff and doesn't want to move back, so there is the butterfly joint in there, so you can get it to go cross body a little bit, which is good when you have somebody that uses wings, so you can kind of do a little bit of flapping stuff going on with that butterfly joint. There is an upper bicep swivel there. You get a solid double jointed elbow. There, there is a swivel at the wrist, and the hands do hinge in both of them. He only comes with open hands. Ab crunch that crunches down that far, so not a whole lot there. Ab that doesn't seem to want to go back at all on mine. Waist swivel there. Legs go out that far apart. He can kick forward very, very high. Goes back a little bit. There is an upper thigh cut there. Double jointed knee. No boot swivel or calf swivel. Foot hinges all the way down. Get a hinge up and ankle pivot with peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So good articulation. He's an old man. He shouldn't be too flexible, but you can get him into some dynamic flying poses depending on how you get it. So now let's see how he compares to the previous Vulture release that we got from Hasbro. So I'm just really trying to show off the wingspan of these two figures. So if you look at the previous release, and it's been a while since I've really taken a look at this figure and, and appreciated it. That Walmart exclusive two-pack Vulture is pretty awesome. I really like the metallic green. The sculpt of it is really nice. The wings, yes, there's no articulation, so that's unfortunate, but they look really good. Um, so, yeah, man, that was actually a really good figure. So you can see the wingspan is actually going to be pretty similar with this guy. You know, as long as you kind of put out um, the new one's wings, you're going to get a very similar wingspan to it. Um, but this one, you know, you can do an articulated type of stuff. You can, you know, depending on your pose and what you do, you can actually make it look like he's flapping his wings and flying around or what have you. So that's the benefit of this one compared to that one. So I off camera, I did switch the heads a little bit. They can be switched. It just kind of doesn't look right. And I'm actually going to show you guys that here right now. So here's the new vulture body with the old the older head, well, I mean, the older figure's head, I mean, obviously, younger-looking Adrian Toomes, and it, 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 it sits pretty high on the neck 
compared and it just doesn't quite look right. The skin tones don't really match evenly. Just not the biggest fan of how that looks. Here is the older figure with the old the with the new head sculpt and you know what that looks pretty good. I just I can't get it over how you know good this figure really is in my opinion. Um I'm I'm just I'm really liking it. So I'm kind of liking this older vulture figure than this new one, but this head sculpt is just amazing and it is the best part of the figure in my opinion. Okay, and here is the Vulture next to the Pizza Spider-Man, and they look really good together, and I am excited. I really like this figure. The head sculpt um, is amazing. The wings are cool. I can easily see Hasbro doing this for a classic Falcon, which I have no doubt in my mind they will do now that they have this kind of done. Um, so it's only a matter of time. Maybe this year, since um, you know the Winter Soldier and the Falcon, or the Falcon and the Winter Soldier show will be coming up, maybe they'll release a comic version of the Falcon, since we, we they are releasing a comic version of Winter Soldier. So we'll have to kind of wait and see. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of this Vulture figure. Are you like Plastic Attic and disappointed because they didn't give a feathered detail look like the old Toy Biz one? Um, or are you happy with this one? Depending on the artwork that you see from the comics, the wings can be very done very similar to this, or they can have that feathered texture look. Sorry I didn't do a comparison with the Toy Biz figure because, well, I don't have any Toy Biz figures. If you've been watching the channel and following me along, um, you guys know that I do not have any Toy Biz figures. It's my one rule of collecting. I won't get them. Just not my thing. Um, if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, hit the notification bell, and as always, thank you for watching.